Lone, Texas, had been dug out of the mud at the Neches River. There wasn't much reason for the town, like Topsy had just grew. For the past six days, the people of Ferran had been up in arms about a shooting that had taken place at the local saloon. Yes, ma'am. Something new for you? You're the sheriff. Uh, yes, uh, Eden Lake. Oh, this here's Hobie Gilman. Hi. I understand you got Duke Kincaid here. Well, that's right, ma'am. Uh, won't you sit down? Can I see him? I'm sorry, ma'am. I have a feeling that I've met you before. I, I can't pull up a name, but uh, are you a relative of Kincaid's? No, I'm not. Friend? Can I see Mr. Kincaid, please? I'm afraid you can't, ma'am. He's serving a sentence. When will he be released? In three days. All right. Thank you very much. I'll wait till then. Uh, can I tell him who called? Well, it might be better if you didn't. He doesn't know me. Well, may I ask the nature of your business? No, if it's urgent, I could uh, stretch a point. I'm going to kill him. Now, will you get out of my way? I think you'd better come back to the office with us, ma'am. We have some things to talk about. Well, I haven't got time right now. Well, ma'am, you better find the time. Would you sit down, Mrs. Webster? Well, then, what is all this about you killing Duke Kincaid? Well, there's nothing so mysterious about it. When he walks through that door, he'll die. By your hand? Yes. Well, I imagine I know why, but uh, maybe you'd like to tell your side of it. I wonder if I could have some of that coffee. Oh, sure, right away. I've been traveling all morning. I haven't had anything to eat. Can we get you some? No, thank you. The coffee will be fine. There you are. Thank you. Oh. Something wrong? No. Just hot and strong. Well, it just kind of sits on the stove all the time. Kind of boils away. Mm. You want to tell us now? Duke Kincaid murdered my husband. Coroner's jury found different. What did you find? I couldn't get here for the inquest. It wasn't necessary, though. I knew how it would come out. Duke Kincaid would go free. Well, he's in jail, isn't he? For carrying a gun inside the city limits, not for murder like he should be. Well, there, there wasn't anything we could do about it. Then the law is wrong. That depends which side of it you're on. I'm not very good at word fighting. All I know is that Duke Kincaid killed my husband, and I'm going to kill Duke Kincaid. Now, you said you didn't get here in time for the inquest. Maybe you'd like to know what the jury found and how they got there. Now, according to the evidence, your husband got into a card game with Kincaid. The game lasted for quite a while, and uh, your husband drank a good deal. Maybe too much. At any rate, he got mad at Duke and accused him of cheating. One thing led to another. He drew a gun. Took a shot at Kincaid, and Kincaid shot back. That's a lie, and you know it. Well, what we thought didn't count for very much. Duke had a dozen people there who saw it that way and were willing to swear to it. They perjured themselves. You prove it? Neither can we. Now, look, Mrs. Webster, I've got no use for Duke Kincaid. Him and me have tangled before, and a couple of times I've come off second best. Now, that's not too easy for me to swallow, but I know Duke. He's not a stupid man. He's going to wind up behind bars. And they're going to 
nail the door shut behind him. But it's got to be done according to the law, because any other way, and he'll get out of it. When I shut that door, it's going to stay shut. And in the meantime, he walks around in the sun. But that's the law, and Hobie and I are sworn to uphold it. Well, I'm not. You do anything to Kincaid, and we will hold you to account for it. I guess it's easier with a woman. Hmm? Now, that's not quite right, ma'am. Like he said, it all depends on which side you're on. Please, Mrs. Webster, don't do anything you're going to be sorry for. Ed and me were married six years. I walked beside him when we came from Florida. I helped him pull a plow to clear the woods where our house is now. I knew him. I knew him good. And Ed Webster never pulled a gun on anyone. Now, if Duke Kincaid says he did, then Duke Kincaid lies. And I'm going to kill him. As a lawman, Obi Gilman had no choice. He had to protect Duke Kincaid. As a human being, it was a different matter. There was nothing between the two men but a hate that had been many years in the building. The day before Duke was to be released, Obi went to see him in his cell. Don't you ever play fair with anybody? There's no privacy with you around here at all, is there? I'd like to talk to you about tomorrow, Duke. Go ahead, Ranger. It's your jail. Ed Webster's wife is waiting for you with a gun. Well, take it away from her. She's unhappy about what you did to her husband for to pay you for it. You're the law here, aren't you? Yeah, me and Eden. Well, then you and Eden better sit down somewhere and figure out a way to get this woman off my back. She pulls a pistol on me, Ranger, and I'll drop her. Unless you want more killing in Ferran, you better do the job you're paid for. Well, that's not so easy. I mean, she thinks you murdered her husband. Uh -huh. Law says it was self-defense. Mm. How much did it cost you for those witnesses, Duke? <laughs> you know better than that, Ranger. Truth don't question nothing. How would you know? You just tell her that she comes looking for trouble, she's gonna find it. All right, I just thought I'd let you know. Thanks. For nothing. I haven't met the woman yet I can't handle. Yeah, well, you have met them all. Can't you just leave town for a couple of days? If she's given time, she will cool down and leave. Not a chance, Ranger. You open that door, I'm going to make a beeline for a hot bath, a shave, and some clean clothes. All right. Just make sure you and the sheriff are around if she tries to bushwhack me, you hear? This time I'll get you two as witnesses. I wouldn't count on Eden if I were you. He's taken a liking to the woman. Comes to his showdown, he's liable to be on her side. He's still got a job to do. He's the sheriff. Yeah, well, he's also a man, Duke. talk with Duke and Kay this morning. I wish I had that opportunity. Yeah, and I told him what you were going to do. I could have taken an ad in the paper. It may not look like it to you, but I'm trying to save you a lot of trouble. I'm in no danger. You don't know Kincaid. He's a fast man with a gun, and the fact that you're a woman is not going to slow him down. Mr. Gilman, could I borrow your pistol for a minute? Ma'am? Could I borrow your pistol for a minute? Uh... Well, don't worry. I'm not going to shoot anybody. Ed was a pretty good shot. We used to practice a lot together. Now, you tell Mr. Kincaid I'm ready for him. Yes, ma'am, I'll see that he hears about it. I sure will.
he figure to do, Hobie? I don't know. Where's the Webster woman at now? The hotel, I guess. When did you see her last? This morning. We had breakfast together. You're kind of fond of her, aren't you? Does it show? It's like it was painted on. I've never met anyone just like her before. She's quite a woman. Yeah. Might be better for everybody if she wasn't. Got to turn Duke loose in eight minutes, and she's bound to be waiting for him. Just going to open the door? No, no, I'll see him over to his place. Why don't we lock her up, Obi? Polly? What good would it do? We couldn't keep her here long, and Duke could still be around when we let her go. Besides, you're the sheriff. What charge could you use? I'd make one up if it'd keep her safe. And you can't go on doing that for the rest of your life. That's not the answer, Eden. She's got to learn that the law may not be fast, but it catches up sooner or later. you for a few minutes. Well, all right, won't you come in? I'm Sally McDermott. We've never met before. Would you like to sit down, Miss McDermott? What would you like to talk about? I'm not sure just how to say it. Miss McDermott, look, I haven't got very much time. I hope you understand. I have an appointment at 10 o'clock and I want to keep it. That's what I want to talk to you about. You're the one that's going to shoot Duke Kincaid, aren't you? He has to answer for killing my husband. It was self-defense. Is that all you've come to say? No. I want you to leave. Right now, this morning. I want you to pack up and get out of town. Well, Miss McDermott, there are a lot of people who want me to do that. I'm sure Duke Kincaid is one of them. Here. This is the money Duke won from your husband. Why don't you take it and get out? Did he send you here? What? Is this Duke Kincaid's idea? He doesn't know anything about it. Now, that's very hard to believe, because this is just like something he would do. Now, you go back to him and you tell him that it didn't work. You tell him that when he comes through that jailhouse door, I'm going to be waiting for him. Look, you've got this all wrong. Oh, no, Miss McDermott, I'm not the one who made the mistake. All right. Go ahead with your plans and see what happens. I came here because I don't want to see Duke getting into any more trouble. You won't listen. So you'll just have to take what's coming. All right, Duke, you're free. Ah, well, that's real nice of you. You know, I'm going to write a letter to the city council about this jail of yours. Got to clean it up. If I could be sure you'd be here, I'd do it myself. Don't you hold your breath, huh? Where's my gun? You must against the law to carry a gun in the city limits. I'll hold on to it. All right. They're not too tough to come by. Back way, Duke. She's out there, huh? Come on. Hold it. I got no intention of sneaking out the back door. You'll do like I say. Now, I'm through playing games around here. This whole thing begins to look like some kind of a traveling show. Hey, you want to see the gentleman get through his hotel, all right?
after 10 o'clock, Mr. Gilman. Where is he? Go home, Mr. Webster. I'm waiting for Duke Kincaid. Well, he's already left. I'm tired of this game. You go on over to the hotel and pack your things and get out of town. Not until I see Kincaid. And you'll do it right now. Because in about 30 minutes, I'm going to declare you a menace in Fran. If I catch you on the street, you'll wind up in jail. You sound like you mean that, Ranger. Well, I do. I know how you feel about your husband. But killing Kincaid is not going to bring him back. And it isn't going to make you sleep any better at night. I know that Sally McDermott came to see you, and I know why. If you kill Kincaid, what's to keep her from picking up a gun and going after you, and then the whole thing starts all over again? Now, we'll get Kincaid. He'll step off the line sometime. He can't walk it forever, and when he does, I'll be there. That's a promise. Now, you go on over to the hotel and pack your things, and uh, go on home before you make a real mistake. That may not make any difference to you right now, but uh, Eden thinks an awful lot of you. Now, don't... Dump a killing in his lap. How you think on it? Well, I'll be out of Ferran tonight. If you need any help, just give me a holler. I'll do that, Mr. Gilman. Mrs. Webster, looking on Eden before you leave. Uh, has Sheriff Lake been in? No, ma'am, I haven't seen him. Oh. Well, uh, when he comes in, would you tell him that I'm over there, please? Certainly. Thank you. <laughs> He's got this town wrapped up and stuck in his back pocket. That's for sure. Nobody can lay a hand on it. That range is going around in a circle, chasing his own tail. He's going around and around. <laughs> he can't do nothing. The sheriff ain't any better. As long as old Duke stays inside the law, they're both like bodyguards for him. Look at how the ranger took care of the woman. He can step over the edge once in a while, too. Ed Webster sure found that out. Any way you look at it, Ferran's Duke's tell him it's going to stay that way. He's going around and around. <laughs> That's for sure. So Duke gave you the air. What's wrong with being my girl? At least for tonight. Like, how do you talk too much? I talk too much. That's a laugh. You opened your big mouth on that web today, not me. Shut up. Duke! Just stick to your table, huh? Stephen, bring me a bottle. <laughs> Honey, you look wonderful. I feel great. You ought to run for president, don't you think so? It's a pretty good idea. You know, maybe I can get Gilman to manage things for me. A ranger for a campaign man. <laughs> <laughs> the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Well, Mrs. Webster, I thought you'd left town. What'd you do, come back to say goodbye? I looked you in enough trouble already. Gilman told you to leave town. Now, you better get out of here while you can. Over there. Get up. Just what are you planning on doing? Get up, Duke. Mrs. Webster, this joke has gone far enough. Now, why don't you put that gun away and let's talk this thing over? You're pretty good at talking, aren't you? Where are you counting on taking me? Outside. I want the whole town to see this. I haven't got a gun, Mrs. Webster. You wouldn't want to kill me without giving me a chance. Start walking. You're making a big mistake. You can't get away with this, you know. Just sit there, do something. Now I got five shells left in this gun. I only need one for him. Anybody wants the rest of them, let them stand up. No takers, Duke. All right, let's get this over with. All 
I do. No, I want the truth. You murdered Ed Webster, didn't you? Uh, the truth. It was self-defense. Alone, can't you? You said it was self-defense. Leave me alone. Hey, Book, come here. Help me upstairs. Duke, you still need me. I don't need you. I never did need you. No. You just find the door and keep moving. All right, Ranger. You've got yourself a case. Bring him to trial. This time I'll tell the truth. And Webster didn't draw a gun? He didn't have one. And the witnesses? He paid them. Oh, aren't you all heard it? He's going to jail to stand trial for murder. Don't bother, Miss Webster. I give you my word. I couldn't very well let you down. You have a good trip home. Well, thank you. Now, you get by the place you drop in, you hear? Well, I will. I wouldn't start packing yet, Obie. I'm going to try to get her to come back with me. 